it's a real honor to be able to wear the uniform and, and to sing a, a song that is celebrating its 200th anniversary this year. I feel really overwhelmed, and, uh, but in the moment it's important to just keep singing and to try to convey the message that it is not about me, it's not about my voice or my spin on the national anthem, it's about the words. because of the impact it has on the audience, because of the feelings that it inspires in them, and to, to know that I'm also honoring those people who have worn the uniform before me. There are so many occasions in my work when it just hits me all of a sudden what we're so privileged to be able to do, whether it's playing at inauguration and looking out at the sea of people gathered for that special occasion, or being inside the White House. Let's return to its sandy den. Let the wind die down. Let the From the first time I set foot in the White House to even now, 10 years later, still being able to sing for a commander in chief is, I can't believe a girl from East Texas gets to do this for a living. We can use music to help reach out to people and to bridge the gap between people as well. The motto for the President's Own Marine Band is playing America's music since 1798. And so when we're out on the road, we are really living up to our motto of being able to play America's music and bring it to the heartland and to play for people who wouldn't be able to come to Washington, D.C. and see us otherwise.